Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly reading for Pisces. Whoops, how are you guys? Hope you're all well. Thanks for dropping in. I did put singles readings up on Monday. You can check those out of my playlist if you haven't done so already. Pisces, overall energy surrounding Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? This one wants to come out, Pisces. Ah, listen. Pisces. Situation calls for some listening, trusting your intuition. Yeah, so daydreams and decisions. Some of you are making some kind of a decision. A little fantasizing. I see strengthening bonds here. Ooh. So I see some kind of strong bond. Ooh. Trust your intuition here, okay? Watch out for any fantasizing. Take the time to figure things out. Look at the facts when making a decision, okay? Pisces. What does Pisces need to know about this overall energy? Pisces. What does Pisces need to know about this overall energy? Clarity for Pisces. Yeah, so it's about investing, being patient. Patiently listening, trusting your intuition when it comes to making a decision. Could be a little fantasizing here. Okay, so look at, make sure with that seven, you look at the facts. Take the time to figure things out. <laughs> Pisces. Oops, there we go. Yeah, so we have justice. Libra energy. We have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. This is someone who wants someone to come in right. Somebody who uh, knows what they want. Someone who doesn't settle. Okay, wow. Justice and balance, doing the right thing. Marriage commitment. It's about investing. Okay, so there's an, oh yeah, there's that seven of cups energy. <laughs> so someone looking at the possibilities here. It's about making a decision. Uh, four of swords. It's about clearing things out. Someone clearing out all their options. Uh, clearing out some negative thoughts. Looking at the positive. Okay, but it's also about looking at the facts. Taking a little time to clear your head, clear your mind before making a decision. If it's not yourself, it's someone else. Uh, I also see the tower. Yeah, so there's some kind of an epiphany. It's something ending. Someone maybe just ending all their options, having some kind of realization. Okay, it's time to release, to heal. To, yeah, I, I feel it's clearing the head, making the right choice to end the situation. If you are going, moving towards a relationship, thinking about committing to someone, that's the energy of making that choice to release other options, uh, to look at the positive energy, the facts of a situation. So we have, yeah, so we have the Knight of Wands, someone who has a tendency, is someone charming, enthusiastic, full of uh, fire energy, a lot of passion. It's someone who pushes forward, doesn't really let anyone get in their way, but it's also someone who has a tendency to rush in very quickly and rush back out again uh, has a tendency to keep on going so i feel there's this energy or you know what you want you're not settling you want someone who comes in right someone who knows what they want yeah so i do see a taurus virgo capricorn energy here uh, i see someone who's looking at this pentacle oh yeah feeling enthusiastic but they're looking at the details so yeah, don't rush into anything here. I feel like it's an energy of someone coming in just right. You're doing what's right for you. If someone's not right for you, you will take off in the other direction as well. Oh, yeah, we got some Mars energy here. It could be a Scorpio energy as well. Aries, Leo, Sag. Uh, looks like uh, it could be any of the above or it's just an energy. But it's about investing, being patient, waiting for someone who's just right. So, yeah, it's about not settling. It's about trusting your intuition, listening to your inner knowing uh, to make making a decision. So you may have other options here. This could very well be yourself knowing what you want. Yeah, you may have options. You may be keeping your options open, but I also see this energy of clearing things out, clearing out options, okay, putting an end to a situation. This is the tower, the epiphany, something happening quite sudden. Someone is about to make a decision. They're feeling very enthusiastic about uh, offering up this pinnacle. This is about starting something, planting that seed to build. It's about strengthening bonds. It's about two people building here. It's about new. You see this person walking down between these trees looking at the light. Some of you may be walking away from a situation now ready to move forward. If it's not you, it could be another person as well. But I see your energy. You're not settling, Pisces. <laughs> if it's not yourself, it's the other person. 
Seven of Pentacles. Why is this here? Yeah. So Empress Energy investing. You're very open, all right, to options, but you're looking for someone who's just right. You're very balanced. You're being very wise. You're listening. You're trusting your intuition. I feel this is your energy. I see a little Taurus Libra energy. That's that Empress Energy. Very powerful. Definitely someone who's not a pushover. Very blunt, direct. Very focused, very driven, someone who knows exactly what they want. So this is a nice energy. I see the birth of something new, someone just right. <laughs> yeah, so this is why, yeah, see, someone very attractive, very physically attractive. Someone may see you that way. Uh, thinking about investing in this situation. So you've been kind of patient, yeah, but you're still not settling. Tell me about this Queen of Wands energy. See a lot of creativity, a lot of passion, a lot of drive, ambition. Uh, I can, oh yeah, look at that. So there's definitely some uh, knowledge and wisdom. This is about moving forward calmly and peacefully. So some of you, if you, you know, you're open to other options, keeping them open. But if someone isn't right for you, if you don't find them attractive, or there's, it has to do with that passion, that wand, that drive, that dedication as well. If someone's not right for you, you will move away to avoid a disaster. You'll trust your intuition. Okay, but it's telling you to listen to your inner knowing, to know when to move on. Tell me about this listening. Love that card. <laughs> ah, yes. Social media, friends, family, gossip. Be careful about listening to your friends and family. This is also a, a making decisions for yourself with that Empress energy. See, you know, this is the Empress is someone, it's the birth of something new. This is someone who's passionate, creative, very sexy, very sensual. This is someone who, you know, just sits there and, you know, is open. You're open to the possibilities, options, but you're not going to uh, be open to someone who's not invested, you see, uh, for the right reason. So this is the lessons you've learning from the past. So I see some kind of travel movement, uh, getting out, meeting new people, uh, socializing uh, with friends and family. Oh, yeah. So there is definitely something new here. Wow. You might be commenting on social media, putting things out there. You may have someone who's looking and listening. <laughs> Interesting enough with that card, yeah. It's about someone expressing themselves. Uh, this is an energy of things being very clear. Uh, everything being out in the open. So I see a lot of good times. I see friends and family, possibly a vacation and travel. Beautiful. A lot of happiness there. Possibly meeting somebody new. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Yeah, so there's an offer. So you may have a couple people here. You may have some offers. Oh, yeah, you're manifesting this. Having all the tools you need to manifest what you want. A little mirroring energy. Uh, look at that. So, yeah, you have some kind of offer here. Something is starting. You've manifested it. Some of you may be uh, making a choice here. If it's not yourself, you got a person here who's... Thinking about you kind of daydreaming, having an epiphany. So I do feel it's an energy of ending something, moving away from someone who's not right for you uh, for whatever reason and letting them go, going out to meet someone new by manifesting. Now, manifesting is a lot of different energies. It's not just going out meeting people. You know, this is someone who's done their inner work. They've mastered the elements of all the kings, all the queens, uh, regardless, right? This is an energy of someone who has those tools because they've mastered the elements. Somebody who's a mature, uh, sensible, practical, logical. They have their financial situation in order. They're emotionally mature and available. Okay, so someone who's uh, very wise. So this is, you know, manifesting is the whole package here. So... Yeah, some of you are just manifesting. I do feel like you have options. I do see that uh, energy there. Yeah, see, it's an energy of investing, uh, being very patient. So someone waiting for something to pay off, something they've manifested. So some of you may have a lot of options here. Now, you're definitely not investing in someone who has a lot of options. Like this is an energy where you, maybe another person, are ready to clear things out of your life. It's an energy of holding back and thinking. Clearing out negative thoughts, negative people, negative situations, and letting it go. Um, but it really looks like someone who's clearing out their social media, um, maybe clearing things, getting off of uh, online dating, and ready to move forward here. Because I do see this energy. The manifesting is that energy right there, manifesting something new, investing in it, waiting patiently for this investment to pay off. It's also about timing. 
So yeah, cycle ending. See, that's that energy, a cycle ending. Clearing out those options, it's time to end the situation. Yeah, you've got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. Somebody who knows exactly what they want. We have the King and Queen of Wands. Two people very attracted to each other. Um, they could be a Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. Definitely a lot of fire, a lot of passion, a lot of creativity. Someone is sometimes a little loud, a little proud. Uh, but this is someone who knows exactly what they want. You may be fantasizing about them. They could be fantasizing about you. But it's about clearing out negativity. Um, I, I feel like it's we've got a situation here where you're going to meet someone and you're going to... <laughs> It's something you've been investing in, you've been manifesting by, you know, becoming that Empress energy. Uh, letting go of all your other options, making a decision. You and this person, because I'm seeing that energy twice. Uh, seven, daydreams and decisions. Why is this here? Yeah, so we, ah, yes, Queen of Swords. Speaking your truth. You're definitely going to be communicating about options. You're definitely nobody's option. The Empress is no one's options. It's like, yeah, it's either me uh, you either come in right and it's all about me or I'm out of here. Okay, I, I see that energy. You're speaking your truth. Uh, you definitely are in that energy, a little Aquarius energy or just the energy of someone who's releasing and letting go. Okay, letting things go that no longer serve uh, and moving forward. So it's a beautiful healing energy. It's about inner healing, uh, finding that inner balance here, speaking your truth, being very wise, your inner knowing. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You're listening to your intuition here. I do see the star. This is about letting something go. Oh, yeah. Some of you are releasing someone here, moving forward in love and making a decision. So you're looking at the truth. You're looking at the facts. You want the truth. Yeah. So this person comes towards you. If they want things to go in their favor, they can't, they can't have any other options. You're willing, I feel, to let go of yours. It's an energy of two people investing. I do feel there's an energy of timing. So it's a, sort of like something to do with the timing of this cycle. It's a wheel of fortune. Things are about to move in your favor. I see love here. I see you making a decision. This is that energy of uh, those hopes and dreams here. Whew. Yeah, so this energy of weighing the pros and the cons, calmly making a decision. Uh, you may have someone here where you feel something is just off, it's not right, maybe you're just not feeling it, okay? You're making a choice, but it could be this person as well, making that decision, coming in in a balanced manner. Yeah, you want someone balanced, someone who knows what they want. I feel like you have someone here, or you have a couple people. It looks like you're going to cut out someone. You're ending, a, it could be an on and off situation uh, where you're no longer investing, because they're not invested. They're not offering you what you want, so that's the tower. It's also someone who comes in very quick, very sudden, okay, very focused on that physical connection. <laughs> Yeah, you're. I think you're going to cut someone out here. This is uh, clearing out some of your options. You're nobody's option. Wow, yeah. So you want someone stable, reliable, practical. You're making a choice here. I think you got a person who's making a decision. It says two people coming together who have each other's best interest. Two people who build a legacy. Two people who count on each other, rely on each other to build. It's safety, security, financial stability. You could meet this person someplace. They may offer you something here. This could come through a job. This could be someone who's a boss or you know, someone you work with, but it looks like a place of business possibly as well where people congregate, something social, a very happy place. It's a safe place. King of Pentacles. Who is this King of Pentacles? Yeah, someone who's ready to take a leap of faith. Oh, they could have a little Aries in their chart. Scorpio energy possibly. Really anyone, but it's someone who's looking at something. They're one last look over their shoulder. They're going, yeah, there's a connection, a bond. Someone wants to build with you. Uh, they want to, you know, this is someone who wants to build. They're coming in, making sure that you're safe, you're stable. This is someone here too, uh, you know, but I feel like it's going to be yourself. I think you're going to go for this. Uh, there's a strong bond, yeah. There's some kind of change coming. So some of you are moving away from someone, moving towards someone else. There's definitely room for growth. You can see this is the new beginning. Moving towards strengthening bonds, two people getting to know each other, making sure each other are responsible, reliable, stable. Uh, that is someone that you can look out, that will look out for your best interest and vice versa. 
Tell me about the Two of Pentacles, yeah. If some of you have someone where you feel something is off, you may feel like someone's manipulating, you may be having this aha moment. It's time to just get off that roller coaster and end it. Yeah, see, this is two people making the choice between two uh, energy. Yeah, you got someone who comes rushing in, rushing out, it's on and off. I feel like you're going to break free. You're going to let this person go. You're going to move towards someone better. It's two people drinking each other's cup. Uh, you're going to go for this. I feel like this person is as well. Stable, reliable, practical. Yeah, it's a decision, a judgment to release somebody, uh, to let it go and to move forward. So it's that release, that shedding. Okay. It could be this person ending this behavior. Okay. This uh, aunt, someone who likes to be in control, this, you know, someone who likes things their way, a little loud, a little proud, you know. Uh, it could be them as well, because I see the connection between that, the fool energy, that leap of faith. It's someone who pushes through fear, someone who goes after what they want. But if it's an energy of someone, if they don't know what they want and it's on and off, you will release them. You will cut them out. So it's like willingly letting go. Uh, the, the star is uh, willingly letting someone go. You want a bond and a connection. You want someone who, you know, there's a connection between two people. There's a lot of chemistry. It's two people who adore each other, admire each other. Okay, two people who care about each other. This is what you want. You're seeing the truth in a situation. So I feel like this is an energy of shedding and letting go, making a decision to push through fears, to go for this. It's time for change. Uh, I see this energy. Yeah, a little Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone has that energy in their chart. They're doing a lot of thinking. This one's definitely very clear, you see. They're thinking, daydreams, decisions, strategizing, looking at the facts. So someone who looks at the facts. It's time to let go. Now, it could be this person letting go of an energy or literally uh, ready to make a choice to take a risk and go for it here. Yeah, someone up in their head. Could be a, someone with a little Gemini. Yeah, no, definitely looks like a Libra energy or just someone who's in that energy. It's about justice, what's right for them. So someone who may be letting go of someone who's not right for them and coming towards you. So it's about making a decision whether someone's right or not. It's the decisions to do with marriage or commitment, doing things right. Now, lovely, big decision here. Tell me about this judgment. There we go, yeah. Someone who's looking back, all that hard work. Someone who's a, a little bit beat up, <laughs> you know. Maybe they had a relationship in the past that didn't go well. You know, they're looking back, but it's time to put the past in the past, to release it, uh, to move forward. So it's someone making a decision to do with justice, to do with commitment, whether someone's right for them. Yeah, it's about whether something will be successful. There's some kind of an epiphany, the light bulb going off. Ooh, look at that person. This could actually go somewhere. This person's definitely somebody who's very much in control of their emotions, very logical. They're not very, they're not ruled by their feelings, but I feel this is this person they're seeing. This could actually go somewhere. So it's inner, it's time for change. You see, this person's going through some kind of change. Yeah. Wow. Nice energy. Yeah. Someone very strong. So this is someone gaining the strength and the confidence. Uh, to make a decision, to make a choice to do with marriage and commitment. There's definitely a strong connection. It's about growing that strong bond, you see, between two people. There's definitely some strength there. Lovely, yeah. So someone maybe a little Sag for some of you. They may have Sag in their chart. Someone planning for success. This is someone who could be a little bit of a runner. You know, they've been kind of playing the field. This is someone who's, you know, likes to be free. They like a lot of attention, but they're looking. They're thinking about this. Um, you know, setting themselves free, going off, planning for success. King of Pentacles, they're planning success. They are successful. They're used to getting a lot of attention. Uh, but they're not having success, you see, in that energy. So, <laughs> whoa, they're in their head. Somebody has a, this is someone who definitely has a tendency to overanalyze. Uh, but there is an energy for growth. So they are at a crossroads. This is a crossroads in their life, a life path, making a choice. Now, they could be, like I say, letting go of their options, getting off social media, ready to start something new. Now, they may be distancing themselves from someone who's not the one, but I feel like it's yourself. You, There's someone here. This is someone who sees you as just right. They see you as this empress energy. Okay, but I can see you going through something too here where you're taking things that you know, that empress energy, the things that you've learned, taking with you, moving forward calmly and peacefully, moving away from someone who isn't right for you, moving towards someone who is. So I feel like you're coming together with someone. Two people growing closer, taking the time to get to know each other and growing closer. Yeah, you've got a new opportunity. So you have this opportunity for a fresh new start. Oh, this is beautiful. 
So Pisces, it looks like you've got someone who's definitely in their head looking at you with justice and seeing you as just right, but they are a little on the fence yet. Okay, it could be someone who's waiting for the right opportunity to approach you. Maybe they're waiting for you to end a situation. I mean, there could be gossip, uh, things they're listening to. Okay, gaining some kind of clarity first. Okay, so they want that clarity first before they even approach. So different scenarios there. Nice energy though, Pisces. This is about justice, balance, marriage and commitment. It's time for change. There's a, definitely a bond. Uh, it's about strengthening bonds, speaking the truth. You can't connect with someone and grow a bond if you have other options as well because I feel that decision with the Seven of Cups is no longer investing. Somebody who wants to manifest, they need to, you know, they want to start something, they need to start it right, start it on the right foot by building uh, that foundation with that pentacle, something solid. Nobody else can be involved here. Uh, that's what I'm seeing. So, wow. Pisces, Pisces, yeah, you definitely are in that Empress energy. Just stay right there. Let this person figure out what they want. They, if they want you, they need to come and get you, okay? Let this person chase you. You're not chasing this person. You're different than, than other people. They're used to being chased, so they're looking at that, hmm, right? They're recognizing that Empress energy. Lovely. All right, so we have some charms. I see a bird, communication. It's a little uh, look over your shoulder before you make a decision as well. Yeah. I see a fish. There you are. Your energy is going with the flow. <laughs> Swimming upstream here, Pisces. I see a star. So, yeah, this is that star energy. It's about knowing when to let go, when to end a situation. Especially, like I say, if you've had an on and off situation with someone, uh, they just come in out of the blue when they want something. That's where I feel. It's like will, you're willingly going to release. Uh, this is your hopes and dreams is to connect, okay, to build a connection, a bond with someone. Uh, it's there. You see it. You know it. So there's that seashell. So this is about seeing. Could have other, um, other meaning for some of you. Take what resonates. Give it a chance to play out. I see this bicycle. So there could be something there. And I see uh, the yin and yang energy. Oh, yeah, look at that. Two people who are just right for each other. Two people who are a good fit. You have things that are different, but yet things that are very much the same. It actually creates balance. So really nice. Ooh, love this energy for you, Pisces. Your energy has definitely been shifting. All right. Certainly clear and less confusing that it's been. I feel there's more balance even in the energy here. A lot less of that emotional kind of energy. <laughs> it's a balance, you know, between all the elements here. That's what it is. It's having all the elements, the wisdom, the knowledge, two people getting to know each other, you see. Um, little mirroring, manifesting being by being patient. You know what you want. You're definitely not settling. Yeah, but I do see that king and queen of wands energy between two people so i see a k an n an m a t a u a w two w's first and last initials maybe a place where you may meet people involved just give it a chance to play out there's a few more an l and a p okay it's telling me to pick a couple of more and a Z, okay? Sometimes that, to me, that's an energy of complete. Last letter in the alphabet, you know, where something is just <laughs> kind of done here. But it definitely could be. Uh, first and last initials, full names. Uh, take it as it resonates. Give it an opportunity to play out and see uh, how this is. Don't, don't assume, especially with the signs, because I feel this is definitely an energy reading, okay? Take care. I wish you the best. Stay in your Empress energy. And we'll see you soon.